Welcome to a very special conversation about a very special show called Best Foot Forward. My name is Josh Sunquist. When I was a child, I had cancer. That's how I lost my leg. Years later, I wrote a book about those experiences. Josh, you've been homeschooled your whole life. This is a show about Josh going from homeschool to public school. Here we go. And he happens to have one leg. And that's an important piece of his character, but it's not like everything about him. Uh, guys, if the leg is the first thing kids know about me, that's all they'll care about. I want to make friends because they like me, not because they feel bad for me. That is something that a lot of disabled people would feel in their life. You should treat a person with a disability as you would any other person because guess what, they are a person. Just take my advice, lay low for a little while. The show is about Josh's firsts, like his first day at public school. What's it like to meet new friends? What's it like for the first time to go to the cafeteria? What's homeschool like? It's basically a vanilla scented prison. <laughs> it's a legend. What's it like for the first time to try out for the school sports team? Want to sneak soda into a movie? What's it like for the first time to go to the movie theater without your parents? What have you done in your life to try to educate people? Prove it to them, you know? To prove to them that I can do what you can do, basically. We are all the same at the end of the day. Josh Dubin. Here. 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 So, Josh, I'd love to know when you're in the writer's room and the showrunner, creator, how are you breaking story? Very early on, just sort of telling stories from my life or like my stand-up bits uh, or people have, having, like the other writers having read um, my book. And then it was kind of like, oh, this is funny. So like, let's say the movie theater, right? If you follow me online, you've probably seen me tell this story at one point or another about when I uh, went to a movie theater and I borrowed my friend's pants, like uh, regular two-legged pants, and I, I put them on and I put a two-liter two in the left pant leg, right? And then tied a knot underneath right here. So the two-liter hangs down, like looks like it's like my leg is amputated down here, and then I smuggle the two-liter into the movie theater, thus saving an extraordinary amount of money on concessions. Uh, I, it was like less realistic than I thought, uh, because like I walk into the theater and I look down, and the two-liter is just swinging all around, like very awkwardly. Uh, and so we, want, we thought like, that's a great story. People really connect with that online uh, and, and on, in real life when I do it uh, in, in stand-up and such. But like, how is that an episode, right? How, how is that what I just told you in 30 seconds? How is that a 20 minute story that involves like all of our main characters and that is a first for Josh? Like what's the first that he's experiencing here? So it was a lot of times taking like a, a kernel or a nugget from my life or from one of the other writers' lives and expanding that into, oh cool, here's like the storyline, the A story and the B story and what all of our characters will do. Logan, what have you learned about yourself in this experience? Hmm. That's a hard question. Um, maybe that everybody's alike and everybody's different in their own ways and that just because that we might be all different or we might be all the same, we are all the same at the end of the day. And being able to see the person before their disability. So, oh, it's a kid going through middle school that happens to have one leg, and except for it's a kid with one leg that happens to be going through middle school. Right. I love that. And yes. So perfect. Tell me, Josh, how has this experience made you rethink your own life and what you have contributed? This was a thing that involved over 200 people in our cast and main crew, plus hundreds of background people. My brother has this thing that he said to me when he first started, because it's, it's a really different style of creation than what I'm used to. Because I was like, man, it's so, so many people, it's so complicated, you know, to, like there's so many pieces and all these other people have ideas about how my life should be portrayed on screen. But my brother said this great thing. He said, if you want to go fast, go by yourself. If you want to go far, go with others. And here we are, we've made this enormous show that's gonna be in 90 countries around the world. And in that sense, it is reaching a scale like not even close, so far beyond anything else I've ever done. And in that sense, I've seen how far uh, we can go as, as content creators, as entertainers, and as human beings um, when we work with a really big and incredibly talented group of people. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and comment on the video if you enjoyed it.
Click and watch our suggested video playlist right now for more entertaining videos. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released.